Hello, pals of mine! This is Paladin, and welcome to Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went to the Pirate Stronghold, and while we didn't find the ship guarding Nairu's flame, we did get a we did get a dousing reading, and now we can search for it directly. So let's go do that right now. We need to hurry up and look for my ship. Can we? Shall we set sail? Yes. Anchors away. So, we can go ahead and do that. It is a... Oh. How are we going to search the hu uh, this whole sea, Vroom? I have no choice but to ask you to do it for me, Berserk. So get cracking, Vweep. There's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view. Vweep. But if we attack it, then we might catch a glimpse of it, Zert. Okay, so where is it? It's over here? Okay, let's go. Now, what I was saying is... What do we... Game. Okay, what I was saying is... It is a beautiful day both in the game and in real life. It is 80 degrees out. It is very, very nice. And it's almost shorts weather. And I'm kind I'm. It's really hot out because I'm not in shorts. Which I don't know why I'm telling you what clothes I'm wearing. But anyway... <laughs> turn we can um you can actually drive while dousing which is really neat so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we're pretty far away from it it looks to be like docked right at the uh the port here we're almost on it well here it is Okay, it's moving. Whoa, we were right on it. Did you see it? Fooweep. That's my ship, Vroom. We must pursue and keep pounding it with the cannons. Okay, so let's go ahead and pursue it with dousing and keep pounding it with that cannon, like he said. Are we almost up on it? We are on it. Okay, we're, we're, we just keep shooting. And there it is. We damaged it enough to bring it to a stop, too, which, so we don't have to chase it down. That's that's very beautiful. The contrast on that on that shot right there, that was beautiful. Here we are. Actually, we're only, only two minutes in, and we're entering the dungeon. We should be able to get a lot of progress in on this. Oh, and yes, this is the dungeon, the sand ship. After three attempts to find it, we finally did. And this is a really nice dungeon, I have to say. I'm not going to call the old dungeons cookie cutter, but this breaks away from their innovations even more than they did from the previous installments. I mean, I think we've had dungeons on ships before, Maybe? Actually, yeah, we have. In uh, Phantom Hourglass, we have. But this breaks away from that way better than they did. Let's go ahead and heal up. I'm really worried about my shield, too, while we're talking about healing. It's, it's less than half gone. Which kind of worries me. Now, uh, there is a goddess wall here. But we do not want to get it right now, because we will need it later. Also, if you're wondering what's down this path, all it is is a red rupee. So, there's literally nothing else down here. So we will get that goddess wall later, because we'll need it later. And actually, I think there's actually a secret here. No? No? Okay. Well, we can continue on. And actually, let's go ahead and use this. Take out these keys. And one, three shots. Sadly, none of them dropped a treasure, but that's fine. We don't need it. Now let's go ahead and use our slingshot again. Stun him. Hopefully get across alive and well. Yeah, barely. Okay, let's go. 
Now, we cannot go in any of these side doors. They are all closed off to us, but we can remember them for later. Because in case you haven't guessed, we will be restoring this ship to the past state um, in the duration in our stay here. Go ahead and continue through this small door. We're actually really far so far. I mean, really far for what the time is in this episode. I'm... Whoa. Um... Sup. Um... This is kind of awkward. Uh, best way to take them out. I think this is the best way. I think this is the best way. Besides, we... We haven't given the slingshot enough screen time. Come on. Come at me, bros. Die! Oh, snap. Run. Okay. Why am I why am I scared of these guys? Man, they're they're just Araka. Why should I be scared of them? You guys die. Come on. Why can't I hit them with the scatter shot? There we go. Why can't I hit them? Okay, I killed one. And now I'm out of ammo. That was kind of a waste. And dead. Death. There we go. There's one death. And dead. Dead. Man, the game designers really knew what they were, what they were designing when they made this whip. This is a really good item. And also, I think there might be a secret and we don't have any slingshot stuff. There might be... Let's get our bellows out. Not... No, there isn't a secret. Sadly, there should have been. Actually, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I cut that? No. Okay. I tried. Master, please look. What? This large door here is sealed shut. This door must lead to an important room in the ship. Well, Fee, to be fair, we've seen a bunch of sealed doors. What you should have said is, this is a large door, so it must be important. That's what you should have said. Also, there are five chests in there. Take note of that, because we will we should look for those while we're exploring this dungeon. And get our whip out. I name this whip... Now, I'm not going to name this whip. Why should I name the whip? I mean, it's a cool whip, but I don't think it's quite worthy of naming it. I was going to call it... Uh, what's it actually called? I just called the whip. I was going to call it Magical Keys, Keys Killer, but... Nah. Magical is kind of overrated, and... So-and-so... And then inserting Killer in there... That's overrated, too. That's way too mainstream. Get away from me. Okay, we can go and kill these guys. Now, look at the scene here. You have a Technoblin. A Technoblin. And inside the prison, which you can see would have been walled off by these electrodes, are the robots. So, apparently they didn't kill them, they just imprisoned them. I believe... Didn't that one, that one robot in the, uh, in the Laneru mine talk about the Bakablins draining them? No, it was, it was the, uh, the robot that we saved and he upgraded our beetle. He talked about how the, the Technoblins were draining them of power. So maybe that's what they're planning to do. And this even further cements my theory that everything went awry suddenly. I mean, look at this. These guys were guarding it, but why did they die? Why were they still guarding stuff when they died? It just... I mean, these guys being the position they are in makes sense, but 
them being out there guarding, you'd think if they were dying, the last thing on their mind would be guarding these guys. They'd be looking for food. Or whatever. They'd be fi looking for whatever solution there was to the reason why they are dying. It, may it further cements my theory that these guys died in one instance. I just want to put that out. So, on first glance, it looks like it is down, left, right. Down, left, right left but we try that okay down left right left that does not work the reason is because if you look at this this wheel um, has red on the top so if we look at the symbols with the red being on the top you have down up down right down up down right and I thought I saw something there. Okay, so down, up, down, right. And that is the solution. I believe I've gotten stumped on that before. But that is what you wanna that's what you want to do. It's way easier than that thing when it was like the secret order of the temple. That was pretty confusing. In um the ancient cistern, when it had all those symbols on the statue, that was a little bit confusing. So now that we have the key, we can go back to the to the uh, the door I was talking about. The the door that had a key, uh, had a lock on it. I think I said we need to make no mention of that, or we need to remember that for later. I might not have, but if I did, that's the door I was talking about. But I'm actually not going to cut, even though there's literally nothing else special going on between uh, then and now. I should, I, I kind of want to tell you guys something, um, talk to you about what I've been doing. I have been busy, um, me and Zade have both been busy, or Ryan, um, we've been busy making the channel art for my next LP, and I have to say, I am excited for it. It, no, no, oh my word, am I gonna die? I'm gonna die! Okay, I didn't. But man, I almost died there. In fact, I'm gonna kill you right... That's awkward. That's even awkwarder. Okay, you just die. Okay, we've been busy making the channel art for my next LP, and it looks pretty good. It took us a long time to make it, and if you... If and when you see it... Well, not if... You're watching my channel. You're gonna see it. But when you see it, uh, I, I don't know. Get you guys could give us some um, cri whoa, give us some critique on how it could have gone better because what we chose for how it looks is kind of the only thing we could think of, and we went over a ton of ideas. So could you give us some criticism on how that should go down next time? Yeah. That's, that's all I have to say on that. But it looks pretty cool, I think. So here's the door. And there's nowhere else we can go. So this either has the time shift stone in it that we need. Or something to activate it. That's all I'm saying. And actually it has... It has Android Sparrow target lock. Oh, it's not. It's not Android Sparrow. It's LD002S Skurvo. This mutinous robot st stole the ship from Skipper long ago. He still commands the ship today. When fighting in a narrow space like this, it is more effective to use thrust attacks with your sword than to try to swing your sword widely. Okay. Boom. And also vertical slices work better too. Hit me. Hit me. I want to shield bash you. Oh. Okay. You're going to just give me some free hits. And 
And boom! Knocked the sword out of his hand and he used the other one. And to make matters more complicated, he's going to move up the barrier so he can pin us in more easily. Ow. Or I could pin in myself. Ah. He's also hard to shield bash. He's very hard to shield bash. I have a lot of trouble shield bashing him. Let's get us some breathing room here. Man, I'm, I might die. Actually, no, I have a fairy. I'm good. Boom. Oh. So... You mostly out. You most be one, mostly want to be very strategic with your sh your shield bashes. Ow! And I'm not being strategic with my shield bashes right now. Uh, our sh shield's about to break, um, and we're about to die. Um, okay, we need to take him out and fast because we are about to die. I mean, we have a fairy, but. Our shield's about to die, and we need it for this fight. I cannot dis unequip it. Because we don't have enough time, and we don't have enough... We don't have enough time, and... We honest... Oh my word. He caught me in the midst of a backflip. And that only gives us six heart snap. We might, may die. Um... There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Yes. Okay, so you want you want to be very careful and you want to play a very hit and run game. Like that. He has nothing left except his hook. And he's going to move the the barrier up even farther. And we don't have that many hearts left, so we want to be careful. Careful. Boom. Okay, we want to play a very hit-and-run fight. Ugh. Um, that didn't work. Okay, be very strategic with your shield bashes, and you can take him out. That was that was hard. I had a legitimate, ha legitimately hard time with that. So much so that I couldn't com commentate. Master, that synthetic life form. There is a 99% chance it was the pirate described by the captain. I can't help but admire the tenacity of it displayed in staying alive and functional all these years. And our shield is dead, and we need hearts, so, uh... I'm unequipping it. And also, I never... I forgot about this, but you can just tap the, the minus button to equip and unequip it. Which I could have used in that fight. And we're in bad shape with our shield. I might have to... Oh, and by the way, we got the bow! Now you can hit targets at a very long range. Arrows do a lot more damage than Deku Seeds. Press down to center... Yeah. That is our last item. Master, a report about the bow you just obtained. Your bow's elasticity can propel arrows through the air with great force, allowing you to strike your targets from afar. To, to confirm the controls associated with your bow, raise your bow by pressing B, then press 2. You can also shoot arrows to strike certain devices in order to activate them. I have confirmed that such a device exists on the deck. However, it would be difficult to target it from here, so I recommend you return to the deck. Okay, we're gonna do that now, after unequipping our shield. And we need hearts really, really badly. We need hearts, and we also need a new shield. At the end of this episode, I'm considering... I'm considering going back to Skyloft and repairing our shield. Because this is kind of scary. And before we hit that switch, we want... Oh, snap. We, uh... We don't have anywhere to get hearts. Um... We need to play it very safe. We used up our fairy, so... 
We have no other option. And there's our time shift stone, which is just what we needed because maybe there's some hearts in the past. Master, I have important information for you. There's a 90% chance the object you see over there is a time shift stone. If you could deliver an impact to it by some means, it could have very, a very significant effect on the ship. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot it. Get back here. Oh boy. Prepare to unleash chaos. Oh, and uh, you can... Actually, I'll explain it in a second. Three, two, one. Oh, snap. Get ready. Ugh. Be ready. There are the sails, and... Now we can't hit the time- we can't hit the time shift stone anymore. Also, they just put the ship on alert. Okay. We're gonna have a little bit of an arrow battle here, because... They have snipers up there, which you can see their arrow right there. And they're shooting at us. There we go. Okay, let's run to cover. Okay. Where's the archer? Um, uh, right there. There's another one. There's another archer somewhere. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, we killed him. And there, there, another one. Right there. Okay, let's go and take him out. Shaky. There. Okay, we got him. Are there any others? Okay, that's a swordsman. That's a swordsman. That's a swordsman. What about up here? While they aren't sword, while they aren't archers, let's go ahead and take them out to make our ascent easier. There we go. Okay. Um. Ooh, heart! Okay. Let us climb. Let's do it. Link, climb. This is... Climb for your life, man, because your life depends on it. Okay, let's go ahead and climb, and let's try to take them all out in sniper mode. Um. They called friends. Okay. Is this mast clear? Okay. It is. I don't see any archer. I heard an archer. Where is he? There he is. Okay, we took him out. Okay, that's it. Okay. The, the deck is... The ship is cleared of archers. Now, let's go ahead and move up to the... The... Four mast, I think that is. By shooting that switch, and that'll move the uh, the zipline to us. Let's go ahead and get up there. My main quest right now is to get hearts, because we need them. Okay, we're taking these guys out archer style. dead right between the eyes now let's go and go to the the upper main mast let's take him out first and upper main mast for the win we didn't die although there's still a chance that we could fall off and lose that much that lose four hearts i don't think you can take a four heart fall damage in this game though i would not i would not bet against that Okay, now that we can clear that. And open that. Link, good job, we... Why are you here? Now the ship just looks just like it used to. Weep, that makes me so happy. Now I just need you to go rescue my crew. Weep, I'm pretty sure they're being held in the brig inside the ship. That's where we were. Right there, okay. 
It's still pretty dangerous here, so I'll just wait in the boat. You can do it, Vroom. Okay, Skipper's on our side, and nothing can go wrong. Actually, everything can go wrong. Uh, we were just there. Yeah, we were. So we want to go to that mast. Shoot that. We have one arrow left. We shouldn't use it on any enemies, because that's wasteful. We should use it on the ships. Uh, not the ships. The switches. How do we descend? Oh, duh. I was talking about fall damage. You know what I forgot? That I have this. Herp to dirt. Ah, I, need, I need hearts. Okay, are there hearts in here, please? There are no hearts, okay. The game just had to make it more suspenseful. And also, there's a secret back here. Back on the... I don't know what mask this would be called. Just go... Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, we can get fairies. Oh, yes. Um, sword. Let us wish for three fairies, and we'll catch them with our net. Oh, that feels so good. Of course, there's a chance that I could mess this up, which I think I did. Did I mess it up? Will it register that? Will it be nice? No, it won't, but three hearts is still good. We're out of the we're out of the flashy. And in this chest is another piece of heart. Actually, that heals us completely. Good. Okay, we're completely out of the blinky blink. And we're well, I'm still worried because our shield's really bad, but uh, bad off, but I'm not as not worried as I was because we have full hearts. And let's claw shot over here. And now that we've cleared the deck, that'll be it for this episode. Whoa. That's a weird noise. I'm not looking for hearts anymore. I'm just looking for arrows. Okay, next episode, we will continue on in the sand ship. And I don't know if we'll get to the boss. But if we do, that's pretty cool. We'll continue our, our record of, of two episodes per dungeon. But that's next episode. For now, we're done. I'll see you guys next time on Pal Plays Skyward Sword. Man, that was, that was close. Skipper, you can come back now. It's safe. I'm gonna go save. Or sleep.